Let's do an example with the seesaw here. So, um, we've got a, a person B uh, sitting here and person A at a different distance and person A looks a lot bigger. So identify the pivot point first. Um, so it's pretty obvious where the pivot point is here. So I draw a nice big fat circle um, where it is so I don't miss it. Now, it's a, it almost seems redundant. Obviously that's the pivot point. But when you go to do bridges, it's a little bit harder. So just get in the habit now of identifying the pivot point first. Okay, draw the forces where they act. Right, so there's, I'm just going to redraw them. Person A has a force of 1,000 newtons. Um, person B has a force of 500 newtons. And um, there's another force because this seesaw doesn't accelerate downwards. It's not unbalanced force. There must be an upwards force here to cancel out those two. It must be um, a normal force. And in fact, I can figure that out. It must be equal to... Uh, 1500 newtons because two down, 1500 must be cancelled by that one going up. So, write down the distances of the pivot point. So, uh, we've got this distance here is one meter, this distance here is zero meters because it's at the pivot point, and this distance here is some unknown uh, distance. Identify the clockwise and anti-clockwise torques. So you have to imagine, um, if I redraw my guy, what's what's causing it to, to rotate anti-clockwise? And anti-clockwise is, um, is this way. So what's causing it, or trying to cause it to do to do this? It's anti-clockwise. It's trying to cause it to go down like that. Well, the thing that's pulling it down that way is um, person B. So person B is an anti-clockwise torque, and then what's causing it to go the other way? What's causing it to go this way, which would make the uh, the thing look like um, like this, pulled down that way, and that is person A. So person B A is the clockwise, because um, going around this way is, is the way the hand's going to clock, so it's clockwise. And now I set up my equation. So um, in the notes we found out that um, anti-clockwise torques are equal to or balanced out by clockwise torques and I know that a torque equals force times distance so um, my anti-clockwise forces times their distances is equal to my clockwise forces times their distances and now I just put the numbers in so my anti-clockwise force is 500 newtons times the distance, I don't know what that is, distance is, so I just put D, equals my clockwise, 1,000 newtons, times, and I know that distance, 1 meter. And then I just simplified and find this out. So uh, 500 newtons times DA equals, um, that's 1,000 newton meters, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 500 newtons, and that cancels out on that side. And on this side, I get, a, I get two meters left over. Um, so that's it. So good luck with the examples. And of course, the answers are, um, are in your book as well.